Hello, V Squad, and welcome back to another episode of V Girl TV. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to my canal, the YouTube. I am back with another video yes guys i am in my boutique right now and actually like filming in here um i actually love filming in here i just love the whole ambiance of it all so guys if you ever are in panama make sure you stop by luxon labels boutique also check out pretty image boutique links will be down below anyway guys so the reason why i'm actually doing this video is because this is a real story. This is something that really, really happened to me. And I just wanted to get you guys' opinion on this because I was kind of like taken back for a loop. Um, so yesterday I had a doctor's appointment and I had to fill out paperwork, um, giving authorization to run this specific exam. So I get the form, I fill out the form, and then I see that there's like this box um, for race, right? So I'm gonna actually put up um the the, the the receipt i'm actually gonna put up the form um the part of the form so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about as i discuss it i honestly thought it was like super strange um not necessarily because it's not something it's, it's this isn't something like for example in the states when you fill out certain forms they always ask for your race or your ethnicity but in this particular case, I was just confused, okay? I was confused because of the choices they had available um, at this particular hospital. Okay, so let me look for it. Okay, so this is the form. Um, I'm actually gonna put it on the screen so you guys, so you guys could follow along with me as I explain my experience with this form. So it says raza etnica, which is your race. And then it says blanca, right, which would be white. And then in parentheses, it says your portion of it all so then it goes to negro which is black and in parentheses if you fall under these particular dynamics or this particular category you would identify as black so you would be african caribbean or african-american so it says africano caribeño afroamericano so basically if you see Negro, it says Africano, Caribeño, Afroamericano, which should be African, Caribbean. So if you're African, Caribbean, or Afro American, you would be considered black. Then you have Asian, which would be, aquí dice Indio, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, which would be Indian, Pakistani, and if you're from Bangladesh, you would be considered Asian. And this third one is, I guess this is like East Asian, which we considered Chinese, Korean, and Japanese, which here says Chino, Coreano, and Japones. Then it says Raza Mixta, Cualquiera. So mixed race. Okay. So as I'm filling out this form, and I'm filling out this form not as someone who is um, from America, but more as a Panamanian, right? So I'm filling this form. Obviously, I know I'm black, so that's not even an issue. It was more so the choices, okay, of what a person would be considered here in Panama as black and what a person would be considered as white in Panama. So if I am European, I don't know what Oriento Medio is. I have no idea. And then it says North African. 
and Hispanic, you are considered white. Now, if you are black and you are African, Caribbean, or African American, then you would be considered black. So I'm like looking at this form and I'm with my friends and I'm like, look at this. Look at this form and tell me what you think about this form. I need to know if I'm the only person that is bugging out, okay? Because here in Panama, there are people who are black. They're black Panamanians. They're not from Africa, they're not Caribbean, and they're also not African American. So by Caribbean, I'm gonna assume that they're talking about places like Jamaica, Trinidad, you know, those Caribbean islands. Okay, I'm not, I'm not talking about Panama. Those are the people that are considered black. So what about if you are actually from the Caribbeans, but you don't happen, you're not, you don't happen to be black? Right? But based on these qualifications, if you are from the Caribbean, then you are automatically black, regardless of what your race is, right? And then if you are from, if you are Hispanic, but because over here it says Hispanico, or if you are Hispanic or from Hispaniola, you are automatically considered white. Guys, I need you to tell me what is wrong with this, okay? This opens up so much room for, room for conversation and why this is the main reason why so many people have identity issues here and why when you associate yourself as being black or why when someone's when you when I say I'm black oh no you're not you know you're not you know you're not because of things like this guys I can't make this thing up this was a form that was given to me of course I just put negra or negro regardless of what it said in the parentheses because it's obvious i'm black so i thought this was super strange guys and it also opens up pandora's box to race relations here and why people are confused between race and ethnicity ethnicity sorry here in panama because of how they classify or how they classify race here it is super confusing because it's like okay yes there are black people here and they don't happen to they happen and they don't necessarily have to be from these places so how are you going to classify these people as white when they're not white they're clearly black especially afro panamanians and then on top of that in the section where it says negro afro panamanian is not even an option Okay, guys, I want to know what you think about this because I have so many thoughts about this. I think it's super weird. Um, I think that it does shed light on race here. And I'm not bugging out. Okay, this is real. This is something real. This is something that I really had to fill out. This is the form that I really had to fill out. And I was just like, okay, this makes absolutely no sense. So now you have all these black people. Well, now I can't say all, okay? I don't want to generalize. But this is why you have black Panamanians or other black Panamanians saying that they're not black or they don't identify as negro because of this. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. I think that it was super crazy. And when I saw this, I'm like, yo, I definitely have to share this with you guys because I just couldn't believe it. And I'm just like, we're in 2021 and people are still confused about race, race. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on with me. People are still confused about race and ethnicity. And this is a prime example of the confusion. Um, so leave your comments in the comment section, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I just really wanted to come on here and share this information with you and open up a discussion, okay? I wanted to open up a discussion with you guys just to see what your feedback on this was and to make sure that I wasn't like bugging out or reading into things too much. But this is definitely a cry and why we have like identity issues. And this proves my point of when I did my video about the misconceptions of a black Panaman, which I will leave the link right here for you guys to click it. If you haven't had a chance to watch this video, make sure you watch it. And this is 
the reason why there are so much or so many misconceptions of black Panamanians or Afro Panamanians because of forms like this and the mentality that a lot of people think. Like this girl came in the store today. This is like a sidebar. And I was like taking it back and she wanted to buy braiding hair, right? Um, she definitely wasn't an Afro Panamanian, but whatever, she's a customer. And she was on the phone with someone, her stylist or whatever, and or in a friend, and they asked her to pick up another product. So the products that we sell in Pretty Image is all American products, and they're obviously in English. So the girl on the phone was like, oh, um, get me a got to be glue. So she said got to be in um, English. And she says in Spanish, ah, no me estás hablando ese idioma de negro. So in other words, she was like, oh, don't be talking to me in that, in, in that language, in black people language. As in English is only spoken by black people. So I was just like, at that point, I wanted to check her. And at that point, I wanted to school her. But I was like, you know what? I didn't even have the energy to even go into it or whatever. And at the end of the day, that's her ignorance, not mine. And I'm not here to be educating everybody because clearly that comment that she made was the most ignorant comment, comment that I've ever heard in my life, okay? Um, and I can go into this and I can go into why it was so ignorant, but then the video will be extra long. But this, that, that is what I'm talking about, about the ignorance, okay? That, that ignorance is what just grinds my gears. Anyway, guys, let me know, as I said, in the comment sections, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe, make sure you're sharing. I am back. Like I told you guys, I'm back, okay? My energy level. I'm just back. Anyway, guys, and as always, peace and love.